Mushroom grower Sisuk Suktavi lives in the village of Tahu in the southern province of Champasak in Laos. She sells mushrooms at the local market to her neighbors or to traders who buy the products directly from her. Business has been brisk. In a week's time, she manages to sell most of the 800 bags of mushrooms she produces. I earn a profit of 1,000 kip per bag, while my capital is only 500 kip. Sisuk was taught how to cultivate mushrooms through a training program under the Biodiversity Conservation Corridors Initiative. The endeavor aims to provide village residents in Laos with alternative livelihood opportunities. In the past, villagers such as Sisuk used to cut down trees in nearby forests and sold logs to traders, unaware of the devastation this brought to the environment. Today, Sisuk no longer has to do that. She managed to borrow 1 million kip or 120 US dollars from the initiative's Village Development Fund to start her business. Her mushroom business has generated total earnings of around 3,000 US dollars since she started a few years ago. With the money she earned, she bought a truck and is now expanding her home. But the project's benefits go beyond helping local villagers improve their income stream. It has also made them aware of environmental preservation. Sisuk belongs to a group of volunteers from her village who help out in reforestation as part of the initiative. When the project came, the project staff taught us how to develop forests for livelihood. Planting trees is a good option. We need to preserve and protect big trees and to stop the foreman from engaging in illegal logging. The project is part of a bigger initiative that stretches out across the greater Mekong sub-region. The endeavor also tries to put a stop to the illegal wildlife trade, which threatens to harm the region's environment. This team of forest rangers who work for the project caught a huge snake and a turtle that smugglers were intending to sell to interested buyers outside the country. The smugglers were apprehended, the animals brought back to the forests where they rightfully belong. The project not only provides people a way out of engaging in harmful environmental activities, but also protects the forests and its inhabitants, halting the environmental degradation that threatens to destroy the region's rich resources.